Define a stylist. Well, a stylist to me is somebody who creates images, uh, has a vision, um, see things through the influence of people, art, food, location, experiences. So when you say style or stylist, that's just another word for like a person's vision, individual vision, in my opinion. Now, how long have you been styling for? When, now I get this question a lot. I've been styling all my life. I look at it like all my life. Since I've been maybe a little girl, three years old, my mother said I've been putting, picking out my own outfits, picking out my own socks, picking out my own shoes, um, trying to dress her, showing her what to wear, what color lipstick to put on, or uh, what t-shirt she should wear. So since I was a little girl, I've been styling and putting things together and creating um, ideas that I like to see on people and myself. Now, did you go to school for something like this? No, my it's the most ironic thing. I went. My major is biology, and I minored in sociology. And um, I'm actually attending med school next year. Um, Emory University, I got accepted to. I decided to take a break and two years to travel the world and um, do tours. And um, I'm probably going to eventually go back in a year. So nothing to do with fashion at all. Only biology, the human body, and uh, sociology, which is the experience with people. So that helped a lot. Yes. So let me ask you this. Um, the stylist industry, um, mm -hmm. is there a reason why you would go for it? Like, is this more of a hobby for you? Or is it a business for you? Like, what, what would be the reasoning for you to go back to school? I'm just curious. Um, I enjoy, uh, you know, I used to watch Oprah since I was little and she always said you have to do more than one thing and you just don't have to stop yourself at one limit. So, you know, people have this idea that if you're a stylist, you can't be a doctor or if you're a doctor, you can't be a stylist and that's so not true. You can be a stylist, you can be a doctor, you can be a lawyer and be a stylist. So I don't put any limitations on, you know, what I could do. And I look at the styling industry, it, it's a definitely a business, but it's a fun business. And um, because I enjoy it so much, sometimes I forget I'm working, so it does feel like a hobby. Only because I'm really passionate about it and enjoy it. It's something I look forward to. Yeah. So take me back a little bit. How did, wh at what point did you go from, you know, school, like high school mm -hmm. and college and, and say, okay, I'm gonna start being a stylist, at what point? Well, um, my aunt was my biggest inspiration. She gave me my first job working at Bloomingdale's on 59th Street, which is the number one largest location in the world of the Bloomingdale's. And I had the opportunity to see probably every fashion brand that was out, every single one. So that was like my first little uh, introduction to styling, and I've loved it. I love the texture, I love the colors. I, I love mixing pieces and just seeing clothes coming off the truck. It was like an excitement to me. And I just started like, uh, would fix the mannequins on my own. They would say, oh, you did that so well. And just helping people like going the extra mile of putting something together or adding that certain piece that made the outfit. And I was 16 years old. And I saw this like almost this, uh, this light in people's eyes when they were happy with the end result of what I put together. And it gave me a feeling of, wow, of happiness myself. So I enjoyed making other people look good and feel happy while doing it. Yeah. So when did celebrities become your clients? How did that happen for you? Well, okay, so after, you know, working at Bloomingdale's in New York, I moved and went to school to uh, Georgia State. That's how I got enrolled in college there. And I, um, I had a lot of relationships with a lot of the stores because I'm, I'm a sh I shop a lot. That's all I do is shop. So I'm always in the mall. And when you, I don't know if, if well, if you live in Atlanta, you know this, that the mall, everybody goes to the mall. Everybody goes shop in Atlanta. We have some of the best stores. And um, people constantly see me shopping and think I was already, you know, styling people. And I'm like, no, I'm just shopping for me or my uncle or my dad. I'm always shopping for someone, but not a celebrity. And um, my girlfriend um, reached out and said, um, you know, maybe you should start shopping for people, like individual people. You know, there's an artist coming up, um, he's super dope, you should 
you should style, you should style them. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll give it a shot. Not really thinking, you know, it's gonna work out that way. And um, I went to the studio and I'm listening to records that I recognize on the radio. And I'm like, oh, that's future. He's, he's, a, he's already like has a great sense of style, but, and he needs a stylist. And they were like, no, he doesn't need a stylist, but he needs people to shop for him. So he gave me an opportunity, literally, of a lifetime. Yep, he gave me an opportunity. Can you explain that opportunity? Um, Future's a very uh, real person. He said, um, uh, you know, here's, you know, I don't have time to shop. I'm, I'm, I'm always doing shows, do you mind? get me a couple of pieces and I said oh no problem he's like okay I'm like you're not gonna you know tell me anything he's like no I, I trust your opinion I, you're gonna get some pieces right some good pieces I'm like yeah and <laughs> when I came back I was nervous like is he gonna like the pieces and he showed me what he liked and what he didn't like and he said you're pretty dope I I'll use you, I can use you. Very nonchalant, and I'm thinking, oh, is he really gonna call back? And he actually called back for his videos, and he said, um, you know, um, all I need you to do is just shop. It was, it was like a friend, like, oh, just shop for me, just shop for me, and he would put it together, or I'll put it together, and we'll have visions and discussions about fashion, but it was literally like, like an overnight thing. It happened overnight, it really did. And then I seen you on tour with them too, and yes, 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 we we did tour. We did the um, I did the Drake tour, and then the Honest tour. So I've had experience with tours, and that was amazing. That was amazing and quite challenging because you know it's an outfit change every night, if not every other night. So you have to be prepared. It's a lot of work. Tour is a lot of work. A lot of work. Now, aside from Future, yes, who else have you styled or? Um, I had an opportunity to work with um, Yo Gotti, uh, Rich Homie Kwan, um, who else? Ray Sherman, Mike Will, um, Fly. I don't know if you're familiar with TIG Records. Um, Fly, he's, he's, he's the yeah. boss of TIG. Yeah, he's the boss of TIG Records. Um, who else? Uh, Julio Jones. Um, so it's gone from yeah, not only artists to, to yeah, athletes. Athletes, um, Jeff Teague, um, Jared Jack, um, a lot of people. I've had opportunity to work with a lot of people.